Hey Reefers, thanks for tuning in. It's Reef Stash. And this week, we're getting the tank wet. First off, I need to get this garage organized and I have another garage over here that I can also use to move stuff around. We moved our family of seven from Texas to Florida. And since we've purchased the house and moved in, we have a huge mess and it's time to get this stuff taken care of. So I had two containers that I had purchased online and neither one of them came in. To keep this build moving forward, we're just gonna use what I have and that's two 20 gallon brutes. We're just gonna work with that for now. And once the build is going, I'll revisit the water storage containers and we'll go from there. Last night was crazy. Yesterday afternoon is when I started and uh, finished late last night. Uh, had everything out on the street uh, for the garbage men to pick up, which is awesome in our community. Once a week, they come by and pick up anything that we have outside. I'll show you in the garage. Uh, it still needs some work. I need to get shelves so we can get stuff up off of the ground. But for the most part, we are ready to get the RO going. So I got a little bit of work to do, but my main goal is just to get this thing hooked up and start sending water to the tank. Vinegar and a brush. All right, we're moving fast. We got the containers cleaned and now it's time to start working on Hooking this up back here to the faucet. All right, remember when working with bulkheads, the gasket, this little seal part, always goes on the inside where, where the water is. It doesn't serve any purpose on the outside, on the dry side. It's always inside, wet side. So I'm gonna drill a hole large enough for this. That goes on the inside. This will go on the outside, along with this, like that. These are great for drilling holes of various sizes. It's a step drill bit, and each mark represents a different size. And we're gonna draw a drill size to fit this guy. All right, y'all, just a note. It's okay to suck at DIY. I actually can't stand plumbing, but with this hobby, with keeping fish tanks, it's kind of comes with the territory. My advice to everybody, when you're doing plumbing, just take your time. Man, I've messed up so many, <laughs> so many plumbing jobs, it's, it's ridiculous. But anyways, buying kits like this, simplify the process for us so we don't have to figure out every little piece like this is my favorite process the build of a tank um, but at the same on the same token i can't wait for this part to be over with so that i can sit back relax and enjoy the tank all right drilling the first hole for the float valve
the drain line is just going out into the yard. And water those palm trees. Go. Hey guys. Alright, let's turn it on, see how it's going. There we go. I think it needs a good 15 minute flush. We're just gonna let it run for a little bit. 9 ppm TDS. Gotta let it run for a little bit longer. When the water fills up. This will stop it from coming. This right here is the wall to the garage. And we're at some point, we're gonna send the water directly to the tank and we'll not be using this auto top off section. We'll direct feed, gravity feed right into this sump. Right now, all I care about is getting RO water pumping. So we can start filling the tank. Water's made, we have it coming in now, straight from the RO system. We have a float switch, and every time the water reaches this level, the float switch will shut the water off. When that happens, I'll flip the switch for return pump right here, which is right back there, and we'll send the water up. And we'll keep doing that over and over again until the tank is full. And here we go. guys we're getting close we're almost full on the final stretch guys so tank is running we got water in it return pumps going and this thing is silent i love the overflow on the cade tanks it's super quiet i don't hear a bunch of gurgling noise it's just a nice silent operation i don't have anything on right now except the return pump an mp40 and that's it stay tuned we're gonna get salt in the next video and we'll get this bad boy cycled